Well, hey there. It's Friday and it is March 26th. It is, uh, this weekend is Palm Sunday and a very significant time this whole next week. Very significant for those of us who uh, profess our faith in Jesus Christ. Palm Sunday, the last week as we step into the, the story of Jesus, the last week of his earthly life and how significant it is for us. I hope that you'll take the opportunity to join us. Uh, we are going to be having an in-person service for seniors only at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. There's a registration link available on our webpage. You can get to that through our Facebook page as well. And uh, we'd love to be able to see you there. Under the gray advisory uh, situation that we're in now, we have a maximum capacity of 53 people. And so we will adhere to all of that as well as we will adhere to all uh, public health um, guidelines, including so when you come in, you will be required to wear a mask as you come in. We will, you will be required to wear a mask uh, as you sing as well. And, uh, and so, but we're looking forward to being able to provide an opportunity for those who want, it's particularly for our seniors. And, and one of the questions that I have is why, why do the seniors get to meet uh, first? Um, and that's a great question, and uh, really it, it comes down to we want to honor them. Uh, we recognize that many seniors uh, live alone, and they have felt a greater sense of the isolation, being separated from family and loved ones uh, over the course of this year or more. And so we want to provide a, a safe environment uh, for them to be able to uh, come together to worship the Lord first and foremost, and uh, to also to connect socially with one another in a in a safe manner as well. And so that's the reason why, and that's the reason why we'll continue to offer a seniors only service for the next uh, for for the foreseeable future. And so we're looking forward to that. We'll start next Sunday. We'll also add a second service at eleven fifteen a.m. For everybody else as we get together to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's coming up next Sunday, April 4th. On um, Good Friday, we are not going to have any in-person services in the morning. We are tentatively looking at holding a, a special uh, Kid Jam Easter family event outdoors on uh, Friday at 2.30 p.m. Look for details on, on that uh, as, we, as we continue here over the next couple of weeks to monitor both weather and, uh, and just in terms of the status of what's going on in the schools as to whether this is uh, a, a feasible idea for us. But we'd love to be able to provide an opportunity, again, in a safe environment for families, especially with young children, to also connect. It will be an online service on Good Friday uh, at 11 a.m., uh, it'll be pre-recorded, and then we'll also, in, in that time, we'll also take some time for communion as we just enter into the story of Jesus' crucifixion. And, uh, of course, on the Sunday, we'll also be having a, uh, online services offered uh, for, for everybody as well. And so, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to be thankful for, and we want to continue to be diligent in exercising care for one another, and uh, and at, while at the same time allowing us to give expression to our faith in Jesus Christ. And so uh, we're thankful for this another new chapter, another new step forward. And if you are able to join us, uh, then uh, in person, that's wonderful. If you're able to stay connected to us online. That's wonderful, and, uh, and so thank you so much for your encouragement and your support along the way. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a great week this week, uh, as you may have heard, just in terms of the, just the phenomenal uh, generosity towards NeighborLink last weekend uh, through our food drive. And so uh, thank you so much for that. What a great thing. And then we have... Uh, uh, another baby being born in our church family this week, uh, little Amy Joy Bryce. And, and so thanks to you. Thanks to those of you who have already responded positively uh, to um, providing a gift card for them. 
and there's information down below in your e-bulletin if you'd like to do so. We want to bless them. We want to encourage them. And we want to celebrate with them. And then also, uh, there's also information down below with regard to a bridal shower for Caitlin Zanting, who will be marrying Jared Persat, my son. And, uh, and so uh, it will be outdoors. It will be a drive-through. So it's not something you come to when you see those times. You're not there for the, the two hours. Uh, it's a drive-through. And um, we look forward to uh, celebrating with them uh, in this way. And uh, if you are planning on driving through, uh, could you RSVP to my wife, Amanda? And uh, there is information for her in the, in the e-bulletin uh, down below as well. And uh, thank you for those of you, again, who have been proactive in doing that and allowing them to uh, prepare for, uh, for, that, for that occasion. So there's a lot going on. It's good to be together as a church family, isn't it? Some way, somehow, we'll continue to ask God to show us new ways to do that, and He has faithfully done so. So have a great weekend, all right? Keep well, wash your hands, and let's go make a kingdom difference.